A disturbing crime sweeping the country hits Dayton called the knockout game. It's already left two people injured here at home. Now prosecutors want to charge the three teens they say are behind the attacks as adults. Jordan Burgess is working for you asking if this will stop the dangerous trend. These so-called knockout game attacks have been happening across the country, but prosecutors say these are the first two in Dayton. We wanted to know if these charges are enough to make these the last two. Attacks on two unsuspecting victims that prosecutors say were carried out by three teenagers. We are not going to tolerate this type of barbaric conduct and acts in our community. That's why Montgomery County Prosecutor Matt Heck says his office will try to charge the 17-year-old, 15-year-old, and 14-year-old suspects as adults. What strikes me is, is that these young children, okay, these young adults think that it's okay to come up a, an older person from behind, a helpless person, and attack them with the purpose of knocking them unconscious. This area on East 3rd Street is one of the two places where prosecutors say those attacks took place. Known as the knockout game, they amount to someone sneaking up on another person and trying to knock them unconscious. Prosecutors say the victims in these cases were homeless. Believe me, this is no game, and the consequences are usually very serious and can be deadly. If charged as juveniles, the minimum sentence is six months in juvenile detention. The adult charge carries a penalty of two to eight years in prison. We wanted to know if this will prevent the attacks from happening again. Do you think this will be enough to prevent future incidents? Well, I would hope that if young people think about doing this kind of cowardly act and this type of violent act, that they would think that they're just not going to go and be handled in such a way where they have to write an apology or they have to do some kind of uh, public service work that they know they're going to have to do some time. Now, prosecutors say two of the teens have faced juvenile charges before. A judge will decide if the teen should be tried as juveniles or adults. That process could take six to eight weeks. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.